I am Marissa Young, and my players know me as Coach Young. I'm the head softball coach at Duke. I would describe myself as a, a really hard worker, and I'm a mother of four, and at work a mother of 25. And I just am blessed to be able to coach and mentor young women in the prime of their life uh, through the game of softball. The opportunities that we have these days and the platform that it has provided us to um, fight other causes and journeys has been tremendous. I think Muhammad Ali was the greatest because he was not only a tremendous competitor in the boxing ring, but he had a huge impact on the community outside and, and globally um, as a humanitarian. All my life I saw him as the greatest in, in the boxing ring and um, it's been a pleasure to get to know what his life what meant outside of that ring, the impact that he's had on so many people in his community and also globally. His confidence and, and persona was incredible. You know, there was no, no one like him. And his, his confidence was something that I admired and, and wanted my players to, to still take with them as they take the field of really believing that you're great. And I think as women, sometimes we struggle to do that. I think that we're so quick to see our shortcomings, um, to be super critical of ourselves, or to feel that we can't speak about what we do well because we're not being humble. The game of softball is incredibly fast paced and I think anybody that watches it loves it immediately because of the pace and the energy that these women bring to the game. You do have to have that fight in you, that confidence, that go-getter mentality because you're going to fail um, seven out of ten times in your at-bats and to have that mental toughness to keep going up there and believing that you're going to get it that next time is huge. So we work really hard to develop that resilience in our women. I am so proud of, of our young athletes. I think that with everything that's gone on in the world um, the last couple of years, it has really provided the opportunity for them to now have the, the freedom and the platform to speak out about those things. Uh, I feel like as an athlete in, in my time, it was hush hush and you had to deal with those things in silence. In May, I took my team to Muhammad Ali's museum in, in Louisville. We were in Louisville for the ACC tournament, and again, with everything that's gone on in the country, we've been working really hard as a team to not just have that be a one-time conversation, but to keep that at the forefront. At a young age, hearing about how he stood his ground with um, not enlisting in the Army was huge. No, I will not go 10,000 miles to uh, help or kill innocent people. And being able to go to the museum with the team this year was really nice to be able to wrap his whole life together to see how um, you know his lifetime progressed through the Olympics and, and into his later years. I'm fighting for women, particularly opportunities for women of color and those from lower socioeconomic status so that they can have opportunities at Duke that I know will change not only their future but hopefully future generations.